Sex education in Australia really hasn't changed for that long. The sex ed ban still comes around to all of the schools. So Harold and Tammy are the sort of the features of the sex ed ban. And I remember at school, that exact same van coming to visit me. So, so there hasn't been that much development. So that was, yeah, that's the gap that we wanted to fill. A sex tech hackathon is kind of like a weekend long innovation jam, trying to find solutions to problems in society and with couples and individuals under this umbrella of sexuality. So education, health, assault reporting, um, and finding those solutions through innovative technology. We get together in teams on the Friday night and we issue challenges, you know, how to improve sex education, how to provide more sexual expression to people with disabilities or living with disabilities. So rapid sort of prototyping innovation. There's huge concern for parents around now that we've got the internet and kids can kind of explore limitless information online. Porn is often their first encounter when it comes to you know, exploring sexual curiosities and we know how damaging and confronting that can be for a lot of kids. So yeah, it's a massive issue and we really need to be, te we can't block porn, but we really need to be teaching kids how to, how to deal with being confronted with that kind of content. Wherever I go in the world, sex education is a huge problem. Um, wherever we throw, throw these hackathons, we know that sex education is still outdated. And I think it is, like, it is a big, big need worldwide. It's like, how are we meant to learn about really the core skills of intimacy from those sorts of outdated 1950s modes of sex education? So there's a big urgency, I think, to update curriculums and to also equip parents as well as kids and teachers, but parents with the skills to be able to talk to their kids about such an important core part of being human.